Hi friends, welcome back to Arc Tutorials. This is Angular 10 full tutorial series for absolute beginners. Today we are going to learn a very very fundamental and important concept called NGIF. NGIF is one of the three built-in structural directives that are available in Angular. This is part 19 of the Angular 10 complete tutorial playlist. Make sure that you check it out. I have planned around 100 tutorials for you in this particular series and the notes and the code and the GitHub link are all available in the description box below. Make sure you check it them out. All right, so so far in this particular series, we have covered around 18 tutorials on your screen right now. You see all the topics that I've covered in detail. Uh, make sure that you check out all those things because I've covered in detail and I'm sure you will benefit to help learn and master angular all right so last few episodes if you see we are focusing on learning about directives uh, we have learned about the directives in angular today we are uh, in the last episode we have learned about structural directives today we are going to learn about ng if else and then in angular all right all right, so let's get started. So what is NGIF? NGIF is a built-in structural directive that can add or remove elements from the view, right? It's easy to recognize because it's a structural directive, built-in structural directive, which means it will always have an asterisk symbol in front of it in the template. Now we can have that. It's basically, if you're coming from any programming language, you would be, you would have used, uh, you know, zillion times how to write if else condition. This is something similar NGF in Angular, right? So you have a condition based on which it will evaluate that particular expression and it will either result into true or a false. Based on true or false, you can show or hide an element respectively, right? Similar to if it's if else statement that you have written in any other uh, programming language, right? We can also use NG if with else statement. Right. So, for example, if you have two blocks of uh, two blocks, right? Say, let's say div1 and div2. And for div1, you want to show when the condition is true, and div2 when the condition is false. Right. So, you can also write that uh, with ng if else condition by using template variable, um, like how I have shown here, else show message, and then ng template. You will use uh, the template variable and pass that uh, as a reference variable. Okay, uh, I'll show you this in hands-on just a bit. So stay tuned. Just understand the theory first. We'll do hands-on now. Similarly, like how we have used ng if with else, we can also use ng if with then an else statement, right? Which means if the condition is true, uh, do a particular execute a particular block on then, and if the condition is false, then do a else condition block. Uh, so that's what you can flip and you can say do if this particular condition is true else execute the else block right so that's how it is so time to get some hands on exercise i hope you're excited before we get started i request you friends if you're liking the videos and the tutorial series please support me by liking uh, comment share please don't forget to subscribe to my channel to keep supporting me thank you so much let's get into hands on Alrighty, uh, so this is our application. Nothing fancy so far. So let's let's start it. Ng serve. Alright, so we are talking about ngf, right? So what we are going to do is first very very basic simple thing. And the way I always do, friends, is I want you to learn with baby steps, right? So I'm here to help you with some notes. Episode number 19. Ngf, right? So first thing. Uh, it always it will always have asterisk risk symbol okay that means it's a it's a built-in it's a built-in structural directive right so the reason friends I do this is because this is what will help you also for your interviews and when you want to explain it right uh, that's why I do this notes uh, please make make sure you understand ask me if you have any doubts all right so this is the two important things that you should know uh, we can always have uh, multiple use cases right so what are the use cases so we can have um, ng if condition right we can have ng if else condition we can have ng if then 
else statement right so these are the three combinations that we can use ng if statement right so remember that um, the ng if condition right will evaluate the expression right and result result true or false right that's boolean right um, we can we can use um, or um, logical operators like or that is double pipeline um, we can use and which is double ampersand right uh, and we can also we can also use negation which is not right so these operators we can use inside ngf right so let's see this all of this in action and learn all about it so after this you will be able to master ngf right uh, again if you have any doubts please drop them in the comment section i'll be very very happy to help you let's get started now so these are the things that we are going to do our hands on let's get started so first let's put in a div and since it's a ngf asterisk symbol equal to i'm saying show success message right it doesn't make, make sense right just will write show success message right let's say user added success fully right it so nothing um, fancy it's just a if condition success hyphen message if this is true show this block right it will give error here just like how it is giving it here because it doesn't know what is this right so let's take that value copy that and go to our app component dot ts right to the class define that variable and give a um, say value to it say false and this is not a good naming convention right so we should always use success underscore message and here we'll use success underscore message right so now we made it false right in the app component so now if you go to your application you'll see okay why is it let's refresh okay so we don't see anything yes okay so now let's go to our app component dot ts and make it true it has hot reloaded user added successfully right now let's throw in a background color This is a bootstrap utility class. Okay, so maybe bootstrap class is not enabled. Let me quickly check that for you. Uh, I thought we added it. Okay, then we changed it to, I think, um, we changed it sometime back to, um, to material design, but that's okay. That's not the big, um, that's not the major piece of learning today. The major piece is NG. So I'm going to throw in here I'm going to say background color aquamarine okay alrighty so now let's see so it says user added successfully right so that is the first div block ng if based on this condition whether it is true or false it will show or it will hide now see this will hide because now it is false so make it true and again it comes back right so that is ng if right so that is ngf condition this is done the next condition is ng if with else statement let's see that i'm now saying if this condition is not true right if this condition is not true then what you should do comma put put semicolon here after success message variable and then or let me show you one other use case first with or condition right so success underscore flag right either of this is true show this block right this is or condition so i'm just showing you one more variable of it so here i'll put one more it's a flag equal to true now see it is showing because both are true both and any one if and if you make it false it will still be green because the condition we have written is if either this should be true or this should be true 
if I make it and and say both should be true now it won't show up because this variable is false here make it true and it comes up right now this was about using with logical operator similarly you can say if not success message right it shows because if not true right so here let's see now it won't show because this is true right now let's make it false now it will show up because the condition is negation if it is not true which is in this case it's not true right that's why it's showing up now let's see with the else statement so if success message else give a um, say error underscore message and here we'll have to use a directive called built-in directive ng template and here we'll give a template reference variable that means we'll put hash followed by the same name what you are giving in else block and here we will write user was not added so see now it says user was not added here it says user was added because if this is true let me delete this so that it doesn't confuse you if it's see it says user not added in the else block so this is not true else it's going to error message block which is user was not added color say right okay uh, leave that that's not uh, worry okay so user was not added now similarly this is about if and else condition now I'm going to add one more condition here we will say if this condition is true I didn't show you the true right let me show you that let me make this true okay so now it's back to user added successfully right if true show this block else show this block now let's modify this again if this is true then you show updated underscore message else show error message now we'll add one more block and say this is updated message user was updated so you see user was updated now it won't come inside this if this is true it will go to this block else it will go to error message now this will not be executed even if you remove it doesn't matter it will always come here when this condition is true right so that is various combinations that we have seen ng if with logical operators right we saw or and not right and you will write with double ampersand or you will write with double pipeline right so ng if else that's what we have seen ng if followed by else this will be a template reference variable so make sure you add ng template followed by hash followed by the message same same name here similarly you can write ng if then and then use uh, the same block that you want to refer all right so that is all you should know about ng if if you know this much that means you are good enough to start with other um, uh, structural directives which is ng4 that's what i'm going to cover it in the next episode Thank you so much for joining. I hope you are finding these tutorials useful. As always, I welcome your doubts, queries. If you are stuck somewhere, just drop me a comment. I'll try and help you. Thank you so much for joining. Keep watching for this channel for more tutorials.